How's it going guys? This is Andy with Andy's Auto Care Plus. Hey, uh, I just wanted to show you guys how I do my waterless washing. Right here we got a pretty much brand new um, Kia Optima. It's in really good shape to start with. It does have, um, it's gonna need clayed, it's gonna need clean up, and I'm gonna do an all-in-one polish and wax just to get that out there. Um, I'm using O&R for a waterless wash here, and I'm using uh, some pretty thick microfibers because it isn't, like I said, it's not that dirty to start with. Uh, so we're just gonna spruce it up and then put the polish and wax on there. Um, so this is how I do it. Take it or leave it, do with it what you want. You know, There's gonna be a bunch of people that have a bunch of different ways that they do it. This is the way I personally do it. Um, so I'm gonna start, I've already done this whole section in front of us. So we're just gonna do this little section right here. So I'm gonna start at the top, putting pressure on there where I swipe, there's gonna be a line here. I'm gonna rotate my hand down to where my new spot where I'm pushing will be right below that. Hopefully that made sense. And there's now a line here, so I'm gonna put rotate my hands down, have a new line on where I do it. That's where I'm putting most of the pressure. Now it was here, I'm gonna rotate down. I'm just gonna keep doing that. And see, now that I'm getting lines in the middle, what I like to do is just go ahead and flip it over. And you can go from side to side, you can go up and down. Basically, the point of it is, is to not be putting the dirt that you've already taken off back onto the vehicle. So you can go sideways, you can go down. I just do a little section at a time is how I'm gonna do this. It is mixed with distilled water. Um, that's your best bet so that if you do get some drying on there, you're not gonna have to worry about water spotting. I'm gonna now stick that back in the bucket I'm gonna go in here. I got my clay bar. I got some uh, more diluted O&R right here. This is about probably 10 to one on this. In the bucket, I got an ounce for two gallons in there. So I'm gonna now spray this down, spray this panel down. Pretty heavily. As you can tell, I didn't dry it. That's one of the things that's a little bit different than what some people do. This is a little bit quicker because I'm not taking that extra step on a cleaner vehicle. That's very important. Now I'm gonna go in there lightly, very, very lightly with my clay bar. I'm basically just skimming the surface just to take off any sort of bonding contaminants that might be on that surface still. So as I'm doing this, I'm looking for other imperfections along the vehicle that I might need to spend a little bit extra time polishing or something like that. You also notice I went from the top to the bottom. That's one thing that's, that I think is very important because you're gonna get heavier stuff off the bottom. I don't wanna go from down here and work my way up here because you might get stuff in that clay bar. Now I'm gonna hit it with a clean microfiber. I'm just gonna mop it up. Same kind of idea. I'm barely touching the surface, just enough to get the water off of there. I'm not scrubbing. There shouldn't be any dirt coming off because we already cleaned that up. I might do that and I might flip it to a nice cleaner side of, of the microfiber and I might lightly buff off any residue that I might find. And now that I'm done with that, right after this is when I start going into something with like HD speed or you know Grios finishing polish or something like that some sort of all-in-one now you can hit it because now you have a clean surface this is kind of the process what I do with you know like I said cleaner vehicles so hey thanks for watching my video uh, don't forget to subscribe like the video um, stay tuned for more thanks guys